why your gearbox stuck in forward when you hit the stone. <sighs> okay, I explain you now. And I have uh, this wonderful opened sample to demonstrate you the problem. By the way, we are uh, covering the Mercury E550 horsepowers or actually 40 and 60 are the same. This mine example is from 2009, but I guess the new one and the older one based in uh, built in the similar way. Oh, why did I open this? Well, that's a good question, because I wanted to find out the reason what is happening when you hit the stone. And uh, this uh, geohousing was anyway to go to the garbage because of these damages and... Uh, Actually, because of the damage from the stone, I will cover later if you could save this gear housing without uh, um, using the new one. But this is another story. And now look at this piece when we hit the stone. Uh, the damage was here. It's not so much. It was here. Yeah, I cut it out this from here. And then we have this piece that I... Uh, took out from that location just to open it more. I also was not able to remove the prop shaft. Give me please this prop shaft. Yeah, of course, when everything was removed from here. Uh, again, I have another one hour video about how I was doing this, how I was opening this. Unfortunately, it's not in English, but I'm pretty sure you won't listen that English for the long one hour so please guy go straight to the point and show us the problem what is happening when you hit the stone yeah now i do this first of all when you how uh, the switching uh, of speeds works in this uh, motor so you are there yeah actually there you Put your remote control either in forward or neutral or reverse, and it is transferred it to this uh, shaft shift to either clockwise or control clockwise direction. Uh, there are a lot of uh, debates about what is the right direction to put this to neutral control clockwise or clockwise guys it depends where you are now either in new either in forward or uh, reverse then of course it will be the clockwise or control clockwise direction okay let's stop talking about this again it's covered on my another video so and that motion is transferred to what is called the comp shift and the comp follower here I now show you this. So I put the, uh, my uh, phone to the stand to demonstrate you. So uh, I I'm either switching this to forward. You can see it's follow this way, and the clutch connects with forward gear. Uh, again, another video will explain how it works. We are just talking about what is happening when you hit the stone or I switching to neutral or to reverse and the comp follower has this direction on that place it is native direction of the comp follower just this one not that one because that one is coming from the prop shaft you can rotate it and nothing is happening with the comp follower it stays on the place it's not rotating so the only uh, motion it has is either forward or back forward. Is it the right English word back forward? It's something from the football, not from the soccer. So, um, and uh, now the point. Sorry, a lot of blah blah blah. Yeah, I know. So, you hit this place, poof, even that small push. Uh, and the comp follower stuck here because the metal structure is changed here. It's stuck here. Now you are trying to switch 
your geo box and no nothing is happening because it's stuck here you try to apply force no it's stuck here that's it like subscribe or i will tell more now also so okay it stucks here yes i have to add s at the end of the verb when the subject is third person singular yeah I'm pretty sure English people don't know this grammar, they just speak. And you wanted to remove the prop shaft. Give me please this prop shaft, of course, when everything is removed here. But you can't. Why? Well, this is logical. Because it stuck here and uh, it stays and hold here, hold the here. So, there and it doesn't go you can apply the slight hammer again i have another video again on bad english no sorry not in english at all uh, so about using the slight hammer but you will find a lot of information about the slight hammer in internet so you just have to apply more force and remove your prop shaft and then probably when you have access to that place and you have person who can repair this place for you to make more room for the camp follower then you can save your old geo housing i don't know if you have such people in your location in my location i don't have and one more important very important note note for you guys when you hit the stone or should I say a stone? A stone is like Estonians. When you hit Estonians or the stone, never stop your engine. Imagine you are driving in forward. Of course, in forward. I, I don't know how drunk should you be to be able to hit the stone being in neutral or in reverse. Are you driving 50 miles per hour in reverse? I don't know. So you are in forward and you are running. You hit the stone. You don't know if you're stuck. So if you stop the engine, you can't anymore start the engine being in forward because there is a protection. And you can't to switch it to the neutral full period you stuck in the middle of the lake good if it's lake or if it's the sea a sea or just sea so you need to call 911 112 yeah and you have only about half second half seconds for the decision that's why you have to remember this it should be in your mind you should keep this information isn't it by the way very useful information if so why you didn't like this video yet so never stop the engine you don't sink 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 is here i think uh, sink is here i think I think, I think. So, I mean, you don't go to the bottom. Why should you stop? You just run, run, run as far as Gump. And you will reach your place safely. And that is the most important part uh, for all of us after we hit the stone. Never hit a stonians or stones, guys. So, that's it. Like if you liked, dislike if you don't like my English. That will help me to know that I don't need to post this stupid content anymore then. Or subscribe. Well, I don't even believe it will ever happen. That's it. Thank you, guys. Bye.